Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. If you may recall, last time we gained access to the secret laboratory at the basement floor. Well, it's not really a secret lab, but... Well, we had to gain access to it with an ID card, and that's kind of what we spent most of the time doing. Um, if you remember last time, we also found an area that was locked, and a door that didn't have any way of opening it. Um... And this is the where you put in the password to open that door. If you remember, there was like a panel in the research meeting room in the last part. So you just put in the key code in this computer, and it'll unlock that door. So let's head back to the area we were in before, and uh, yeah, and see what's in that closed off room. You can hear the dinosaurs on the other side of this room. They're behind a laser grate, though, so we're nice and safe on this side, where they'll just keep hinting their heads on it forever and ever. Alright, so this is the room with the locked door, but now we've unlocked it, we can go through it. And where does it lead us? The gas experiment room. Hmm, this seems like an unusual room. A glass window into our room, and apparently we can monitor the gas chamber. <laughs> so there's like a poison gas chamber, and there's a guy inside. Uh, that's 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 wonderful. And uh, trying to get in there, well, it won't let you because it's on lockdown because he's on poison gas, and it makes me wonder how the guy got in there or why he's in there. But anyway, notes for gas music experiment: the lethal level of poison for the gas for humans is 85 or greater. Closer the colour of gas becomes to the colour of the three basic colours, red, blue and green, the more poisonous the gas becomes. If the colour of the gas becomes transparent, um, then the toxins have been neutralised. So, um, this is basically a colour mixing experiment. You have to clear the poison gas by, I guess, making it transparent. Um... I can only assume that means just like mixing all the colours together, but it's not really quite clear. So I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of bad at this. I think okay, let's put green. Uh, it's looking kind of yellow. So I guess blue is a colour that's not really in yellow because like like I was thinking maybe blue, green and red for some reason. Uh, and that loaded a little bit, but now it's on some kind of turquoisey colour. So I think okay, maybe red. No, red just jacks it right back up, and I'm like oh okay. So maybe now it's on purple, I should choose something like, uh, I don't know, blue? And, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just not really very good at colour correction because I just think, okay, now it's green. I've already used green and blue, and, oh, wait, no, never mind. So, yeah, I just spend a while just kind of dicking about with this, and the guy's in there just choking his lungs out while I'm just putting different types of gas into the room. But it's below 85, so he's still okay, I guess. I mean, he's probably in there yelling, For God's sakes, press the right button! And I'm just kind of going, I don't know, red? And, um, yeah. I mean, if it goes above 85, then the guy inside dies. Uh, it's not really that hard to stay below 85, though. I mean, once it starts going like a particular colour, you say, Oh shit, it's blue. Uh, better go something that's not blue. So as long as you don't just keep pressing the same colour over and over again, you should be alright. Um, it's just the trick is just to get it to zero, and uh, yeah, we're all done. Took, you know, way longer than it should have, but the important thing is we can go into the room. Let's see what this man has to say and how he got in here in the first place. Because, you know, the door locked and he couldn't have just walked in, so maybe the dinosaur turned on the gas? I don't know. It's gonna be okay. <coughs> What happened? Mm. That fool. Who are you talking about? What are you planning, Kirk? I'm here with the <coughs> rescue team. Where is Dr. Kirk? Here. This will give you access to his personal Well, it wouldn't be the first time someone dies as soon as we find him, but 
the important thing is we got a key, a key chip with a number on it, and this is for the library room earlier. Uh, if you actually keep the guy alive, you also get this. Um, this emergency case for uh, this, a key for an emergency case in the medical room. I don't know how him dying a few seconds earlier determines whether or not you get that key or not, but whatever, we've got it. So uh, we're pretty much done here, so all we have to do is just go back to the library room and then we... oh. How did you even get here? I mean, the only dinosaurs outside were the ones behind the laser gate. Oh. Get off, there you silly dinosaur. Aha! Oh, now we've unlocked the dinosaur in here. We can just uh, fill the room full of poison gas if you wanted to. We don't have to, but why the hell not? Doesn't matter which colour we pick, although I'm, I'm thinking maybe you look dashing in red, or should I say, dashing in dead. Haha! <laughs> uh, let's, let's put in a bit more just to be safe. There we go, 100%. Okay, we're done here. So we've got the um, the chip number for the library room, so let's head back there. Um, the library room is basically... Well, it's not really a library, it's basically like a big-ass locker room. And in order to access the different lockers, you need certain types of, like, key cards. So that's what we need to do. Now, in order to get to the library room, we have to get past the uh, the laser grate full of the cut, uh, you know, the one with the um, the two dinosaurs behind it around this corner. So I'm just gonna wait here and uh, wait for him to bump his head on it. There's another one around the corner, so let's just wait for the right time. The ideal situation is to get them to hit their heads on the laser wiring in sync. That doesn't always happen though, just like this. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we should be able to just walk on past. There we go. That's how useful the laser wires are. They just they stun them and then you just use the opportunity to zoom past and you don't have to bother fighting them. They they can follow you into this room, but I find that dinosaurs don't really tend to follow you from that door. It's always the other door. Also, here's some handgun sights I missed earlier. Uh, you equip them onto your handgun, and uh, it increases the damage of critical hits. I don't actually know what critical hits are. It looks pretty cool, though. Um, I mean, in Resident Evil it was easy because a critical hit was like the instant kill move, where it instantly blows up their heads. But you don't get that in this game, so I, I, I never, I'm not really sure what, what it is. I guess it's just like random amounts of damage. I don't know if it means you have to hit them when they're attacking you or something like that. Um, so anyway, let's uh, use the key card or key chip we found. There's a key code written on it. Uh, you just have to remember what it is. And then when you put it in here, you have to rewrite the key chip data with the number that's written on it. Key chip rewritten. Now, this isn't the end of it. We have to solve a puzzle. We have to uh, change the magnetic chip or something. So, you basically have to play the stack up game to match the the big stack with the bottom stack, if it makes any sense. I find the best way of doing this is to. Um, it's hard to explain. It's actually not that hard to do. You you basically just pick. Uh, you move two stacks at a time, and you basically work your way from the bottom. So you start with the bottom two, and it's so you work your way up. So it's white and black. So you choose the a group that's white and black, and then you move them up, and then uh, it's really hard to explain the words. But you can see that, and you see how it works, and it's really not very difficult at all. I, f I find that in in this game. There are a lot of puzzles, but they're not very difficult. They're all kind of like, oh, just ma mix mixing and matching shapes. This this part will you'll see a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but a few more weird puzzles like this. Surprisingly, a lot for a place like. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised from the creators of Resident Evil, but you know. So, let's unlock this thing and we can use the key, key chip, rather, 
on it. And what do you get from it? We get keycard R, which is actually significant because we already have keycard L. We got that ages ago. Let's read this memo. Dear Paul, I finally found the clue. This is the keycard you need to enter a secret lab. The only chance to enter is during tonight's experiment. The other card keycard is in the chief's room, which we already have. Heard the secret codes for the hidden safe are written on the panel keys. Now if we find out where the lab is, everything will be solved. So that of course is talking about uh, the the puzzle, the little um, locker in the room where the T-Rex burst in. Uh, it's just telling you how to solve that puzzle. If I, I guess if you, there's a chance you might not have figured it out by now, but I, I, I figured you might have needed to in order to trigger the T-Rex, I don't know. Uh, so I was thinking, okay, let's go back to the save room, and I thought, I haven't shown the, you guys the other way to the save room. It's like, you go through the main entrance we came in from, and then go, like, round. And uh, during that very brief time I was out of this room, a dinosaur spawned in here. This dinosaur is actually the one outside through this door. He actually, they actually, like, they don't just spawn a new dinosaur, they, they traverse between rooms. So at the moment we have one dinosaur in here. Hello. And then suddenly, we have two, because he bursts through the library room. But, uh, thanks to this laser switch, we don't really have to worry about that. Suckers! Okay, we're pretty much done, so, uh, let's use the new keycard we found. We already have keycard L from the Chief's room, and keycard R from that locker. And we can use it on, um... Well, there's this panel here, where there's two keycard slots. And I keep pressing the start instead of the menu button. I, I still do that, it's, it's, it's annoying, because I, I keep getting confused. Um, this is like a two-person thing, like one person needs to use one on one side, and one needs, person needs to use the card on the other side. So, at this point, you call Gale. I finally made it to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it needs two people working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. Five hours later... So, what's our status? Here, take this. Ready? Okay, on three. One. Two... Bananas! Ha, oh, got you there. Okay, three, five. So now we have access to Dr. Kirk's lab, but not quite. We have to get through another lock system. Luckily, it's just a regular DDK system. Uh, the, uh, the book on the side in this room tells you that you have to delete the rows indicated, or columns rather, so anything in the 6th and 8th col uh, and 10th column uh, you keep, so it's the letters E, N, E, R, G, and Y, which spells energy. And you can also see that the first two words, before it starts turning to gibberish, is the third. So, um, it's obviously referring to the third energy, which is this mysterious project that Dr. Kirk's been working on. That's all he talks about. You're all clear. Let's go. Uh, by that he means that you go. <laughs> For some reason he doesn't want to go, he'll just stay out here. So let's go into Dr. Kirk's personal lab. What creepy science experiments has he got hidden away here? Ooh, pretty. Maybe I shouldn't touch these really delicate looking science stuffs. stuff, so, uh, well, whoops, I ruined everything. Um, hope he wasn't using that. <laughs> okay, so, ignite the third energy circuit, set the initializer, set the stabilizer, hmm. Well, doesn't work. Well, I won't try it now because this science stuff is way over my head. Let's read the doctor's journal. Uh, let's see, um, to improvement of initializer devices, enhanced energy efficiency to maximum. Oh boy, 
Despite that progress, they have been unable to advance to stabilize the system since the accident three years ago. As long as there is an uncertain element to controlling this power, even if it's only 0.1% of a probability, there'll be horrible problems. Uh, looks like it's a very precise thing they've got going here. Um, <laughs> giant creatures that emerged just after the experiment have given me much inspiration. Yes, dinosaurs. Truly the most inspirational of creatures. Oh, there's a thing over here. Anesthetic darts. Yeah, why not? And the anesthetic dart L, which means they're longer, I mean, better ones. And since we have an anesthetic aid, let's combine them. Yeah! L++, super long lasting. And we get an like, increased volume, well actually it's just one extra dart. But hey, it's it's all good. These panels, look at the simulators. I'm no physicist, so I don't care. Hey, a shelf! Time to push it because there's something actually pretty cool under this one. It is... Stocks for a shotgun. By attaching it, the lag for reload time is decreased. So we get faster reloads by adding the stock to the shotgun. And I gotta say, it looks pretty sweet. And let's equip uh, anesthetic dance. Why not? And uh, of course your upgrades are reflected in the weapon, so it looks a little bit different. Hmm. Big computer. Uh, can't really use it though. But, more importantly, no Dr. Kirk. Maybe he escaped through this hatch. Too bad we can't figure out how to use it. Well, that's actually everything in this room. There's not really a lot here. Um, I mean, Dr. Kirk's gone, so uh, let's just head back outside. He's not here. Why? <laughs> this operation is taking way too long already. I love his voice there. It was just like, why, dammit? Warning. The emergency system has been activated. Emergency lockdown in progress. What's going on? No. Oh, Kirk must have tripped off the security system. That fool. Lockdown in your section. We're trapped inside here. Kirk must have triggered it off. We didn't touch anything. <laughs> anything except maybe everything in his lab, perhaps? I'll see what I can do. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gale. We'll find a way out somehow. Gale acts the same way whenever he gets any new kind of technology, like you buy him a new tablet or an ebook reader and he's like, what's wrong with this thing half the time because he didn't read the instructions or something. Uh, so now is the time we have to use this circuit panel we undoed. Um, so this is how you disable the lock, you do some stupid shape puzzle. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory, but it's still kind of, you have to kind of, I think the best way of doing it is to rotate the pieces, uh, rotate all the pieces first, so they're the right orientation, and then put them on. Um, you'll notice, you know, it's not just the case of filling in the missing tiles, some tiles overlap each other, so you have to figure out which tiles are incorrect, and then put the one with the incorrect tiles first first because then the next one you put will overlap the tile and will cancel it out. I, it's really hard to describe these puzzles when they're just kind of like shapes and stuff, but it, it's not that difficult. It, for me it took me a bit of time just to, you know, figure it out. Well, not figure it out. I knew how to solve it. It's just like, you just kind of have to visualize it in your head, I suppose. and. I don't know, maybe you guys at home have already figured it out by now. I'm just kind of, you know, this is like four times speed, and I was just like, why isn't it? Damn it! So I almost got it. You, you just have to be careful which order you put things in, and, uh, yeah, that one goes first. Uh, and then I'm just like, mm, yeah, that one. no, no, not quite right. Uh, nearly there. Uh, mm, uh, 
it. There we go. Mission accomplished. Warning. The emergency lockdown has been bypassed. You have 10 minutes until this section is sealed off. We'd better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great, but the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to make it through this. Crawling with dinosaurs, what else is new? Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. I'll take them out with my stoic voice. Brilliant plan, fearless leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break through there. Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother system. Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. I know. You just have to trust me. I don't. Fine. What about you, Regina? Make your choice. Well, despite having most of the dialogue drowned out by loud music, uh, uh, we have to make another choice. Do we pick Rick's strategy or Gale's strategy? Puzzles or fighting? Let's go with Rick for now. Uh, he always, always seems more like the level-headed guy, although... Uh, I'm not sure I trust him either, but... Let's see what crazy puzzle we've got in store now. We have to escape through this hatch that's password protected, so... Uh, if you remember, there was this big computer that was talking about an emergency hatch, and that's the one we have to use, so let's hop on it. Also, if you notice, the side panels of this computer just kind of look like stuff from a pilot cockpit, like they couldn't find any other texture to use. Good work, Rick. So I hope you have a good memory, because here comes this puzzle! Y yeah. Hope you can remember all these letters that are very slowly appearing. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, you just have to remember the letters that come up. You'll notice that letters appear in different areas, on different cards. But the position of the letters don't matter at all, it's simply the sequence of letters. I think the position is just to try and throw you off, but if you remember the letters, everything's fine. Transmitting the next. So here, it gets a little bit harder. Now two cards flip over, but only one of them has a letter on it. Also, the code's a bit longer. This might be challenging if you if maybe you're not very good at remembering things, but if you're like that, or if you're like me, all you need to do is get a pen and paper out, and this puzzle is basically the most trivial thing ever. You just write down each letter as it comes up. So yeah, this is um, this is the top secret security system with playing cards. I, I do, this like you would. This seems dumb even by Umbrella Corporation standards. Like you wouldn't see this in the Resident Evil game of all things. Are you ready for the final test? This time all the cards flip over, but the one you actually want takes a bit longer to flip back. Can your brain handle all these letters coming at you at once? Again, if you have a pen and paper, it's no problem, but... You know. And again, I, I have to stress, Resident Evil had better computers than this. <laughs> Umbrella Corporation has a better computer system than this. It's it's ridiculous, honestly. I mean, imagine if the hacking mini game in Deus Ex 3 was like watching cards flip around and trying to remember the letters. Pretty stupid, right? I mean, I suppose I can't complain. Really. I mean, that's the thing. None of the puzzles in this game are like are like particularly hard. They're just strange. Very 
very abstract, I suppose, would be the word. Excellent. You got mad skills. M mad skills, really? Now don't waste any time. Just get out of there! Alright. The hatch is open, so let's head on out before the entire facility locks down. Dr. Kirk, we've come to help. We're representatives from your nation's government. I don't think we're ever told what nation that is, by the way. <laughs> I'm touched. And what do you government agents want with me? Shut up. You're coming with us if I have to knock you out and drag you back myself. Well, according to the government, I'm officially deceased, correct? That's the way you want. I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? Relax, Agent. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chopper. You can't do this! I have rights! According to command, your government property, pal. I suggest you take it up with them. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back?! This is preposterous! I have to say, this guy has the best voice acting so far. Then shoot me, idiot, you lame, flat top, jar-headed... Doo-doo head. Shut up. Where's the communication room? Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Fine. <sighs> alright, fine. Just take the card. Just just don't mess up my hair, alright? I put a lot of work into it. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished business? Yeah. 